So today we're getting a little vloggy style. Um, gonna answer some questions that are that we get all the time that maybe don't exactly need their own video. Some of them aren't actually guitar related, but a lot of people are actually really asking me this stuff. So um, what we are doing, it's Friday morning, so we are actually uploading uh, the audio from our live stream on Thursday night. So on Thursday nights, um, I rec take all the audio, um, I edit it a little bit, and then put it on, I use anchor.fm, and then that pushes it out to Spotify and Apple and all the other podcast places. So you can listen to the live stream as a podcast. So that's what we're doing. Uh, for starters probably one of the biggest questions we get asked all the time on live streams and in videos was how do we get internet so I'll show you so what we have is this modem right here is 4G so cellular so as long as we have basically AT&T signal um, we get our internet in through here and this Wi-Fi thing kind of sucks, so I um, use a Google Puck to give us our secure internet for the motorhome. And then this is a UPS that we have um, to keep everything alive because, because RV parks notoriously have terrible power. Um, they don't kind of like inconsistent and stuff and it goes out a lot and so you don't want to have surging stuff I mean I have a surge protector on the motorhome but it's your power will surge and kill your internet and kill your computers quicker than anything else so that's why we have the UPS and it has saved us many times Leslie's job she'll have 20 30 tabs open at the same time doing all kinds of stuff and if our internet went down she would totally be screwed so that's on the UPS and then for the times when we don't have very good reception we have an antenna up there that boosts the cell signal coming into the motorhome so when we're in the middle of nowhere and we don't have very good cell signal that boosts it so it's a whole setup but that's the way our internet works is Leslie doing her work because she has a job where she just like works on the computer all day. Thus the need for the amazing internet. And so for those of you that are new to the channel, uh, who might be just finding this for the first time, many people in the comments are asking us why we are in a motorhome all the time. And the answer is, this is my house. This is where we live. And as a result of that, that means we need to run the business from here as well. So in here is all of my inventory for pickup parts. So we have all the parts um, and then some more parts and shipping uh, printer and all that kind of stuff uh, that all lives in there. And that that's how we do it. Um, we wind pickups almost every day and ship a couple times a week and overall keep everything rolling. Uh, so I guess the other thing I want to do is we've been getting a bunch of questions about gear lately. So if, uh, mostly on my Instagram, people watch the YouTube videos and then they'll ask me in my Instagram uh, messages. So I'm going to show you what we use to shoot on, the camera that I'm using now, some other stuff. I'm just going to run through it really quick. If you have any questions, put it in the comments. I'll leave links to everything down there um, because I changed a bunch of it up at the beginning of the year. Okay, so the first thing is, um, this is my A cam, the one that I'm showing you now. This is the Canon EOS R um, and I typically use the 24 to 105 lens on it um, to shoot. It's just the kit lens that it came with. It's pretty good. And then we have a Rode uh, NTG, uh, video mic NTG on the top. 
uh, of it and it works pretty well and I think like last night this is supposed to go in here and look a little neater there we go uh, this is the microphone that we actually used last night for the live stream as well and then what I do is I have a cam link 4k and then that goes into my MacBook Air uh, yeah and I use an ND filter on the front of it and a little Joby tripod uh, yeah and then I have another camera too and then my other camera which is what I just shot that uh, on is my Canon EOS RP. So this is just the model lower than that one um, that I use for B-roll. Um, I have a 50 mil lens in here that I use. So 50 mil lens for B-roll, this goes down to 1.8. So I get that really nice background blur um, with that. And then we put this on a gimbal if we need it. I have a DJI gimbal. Most of the time I don't though. Um, and then this camera, is, is typically used a lot for stills and a lot of our other, when we go do stuff, you know. Um, this has a really weird lens on it. Um, I bought this lens for this camera specifically. It's 24 also at its widest, but it also goes out to 240. So it's a weird kind of combo zoom lens that does a lot of different stuff, which I really, really like. A lot of times this will be my B-roll camera over on a tripod and it'll be kind of like the overhead and stuff. Um, that's typically what we do with that. Um, all right, let me show you a couple other things that we're using on a daily basis lately. Okay, this is the camera bag. This is the Low Pro BP450. Um, and that camera body I just showed you lives here. The camera body I'm shooting on usually lives right here. This is a selfie stick for our Insta360 1X2 um, 360 camera, which you haven't seen much on the channel because I don't have a ton of practical use for it. We use it a lot for stills, actually. Um, this is a Rode Deity Duo microphone that I use on this camera and I use it on another camera that I have that I'll show you here in a minute. I really, really, really like this little microphone. It is not expensive, it's only like 80 bucks. What's really cool about it, you probably can't see it in there, but there's a switch. It's got two microphones. It's got one on this side and one on this side. So when you're vlogging, so if you put this on top of the camera and you're vlogging, like right now, I've got my camera off to the side of me so that you can kind of hear, see I just bumped the microphone, so you can hear the front of it. With this one I wouldn't have to, I could talk straight into the back of it because there's a microphone on the back and one on the front and then you just split it in post. This is a really neat little microphone for vlogging. It's what I should be using right now but too lazy to switch it really. This is my DJI Osmo Action. This is what I use in place of a GoPro. Oftentimes I will use this microphone on top of this. And for my, a lot of, I used to use it for a lot of vlogging stuff, but I've just been vlogging on this huge camera lately and it's better. Anyway, this camera works awesome. Um, I have a magnet that we can stick it on top of the Jeep or, you know, on the hood of the Jeep or whatever and use it for you know that kind of stuff so that's pretty cool action cam stuff uh, this is a remote for the drone we'll get to the drone in a minute um, batteries this is a magnifying uh, ring so that we can use the 50 mil and shoot some macro with either of these two camera bodies and then this is my new drone so if you follow me on Instagram you'll know uh, that I love shooting still photography and I actually use the drone more for stills than I do for video. If you follow me on Instagram you'll also know that I had the Mavic Air 2 and I crashed it recently uh, right here actually and had to buy a new drone. I sent that drone into DJI to be rebuilt. I'm still waiting on it. Anyway this is the jam. This is the new ish, a little newer, 
Mavic Air 2S. And what I really like about it, I can get this to focus, is it has a one inch sensor. This is a really, really good camera. It shoots 5.7, 5.4K video, um, which doesn't seem super practical, but when you can crop into stuff, it's really nice and uh, it flies really well. Yeah, it's good. I haven't gotten to use it a ton because I've been busy with other top secret things that I haven't been able to share with you yet. Hopefully I'll be able to share some of that stuff soon. But this is, uh, I love this thing, man. I really, really love it. So uh, that's a little rundown of some of our gear. And I know this was a, not really a typical video, but I didn't want to put nothing out today. Um, I want to put something out. And to tell you the truth, I just didn't have a ton of ideas for a guitar video today. Um, and a lot of people have been asking about all this stuff. If you want me to dive into it a little deeper, I know that this video is not going to get the normal amount of views that it, our channel gets. But I really enjoy this photography stuff. I really enjoy the video stuff. Um, and I just didn't have anything I wanted to shoot today. Um, it's really tough. It's getting, I'm just going to be kind of honest with you. Um, 800 videos into this, it's hard to talk about the same thing over and over. So I figured why not just hang out for a second, show you some other stuff today, and then I'll come up with an idea between now and Monday and we'll shoot something for next week, you know? So that's what we're doing. And I'm really hoping soon the other thing too is this project that I'm on is since I can't share everything about it with you I, it's limiting what I can share so the daily stuff that we typically share in these vlogs I can't share with you right now so um, soon soon it's going to be awesome you're going to you're going to be like holy crap I had no idea it's really going to be cool so anyway thanks for hanging out for a few minutes today again a little bit of an atypical thing, a little off the cuff. Hit the subscribe button. If you're curious about any of this stuff, let me know. Put it in the comments. And uh, we'll see you soon.